hello everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about amazon containers ecs versus eks versus fargate and if you want to choose the best amazon container service for your application so in this video we are comparing a depth in depth of eks ecs and aws fargate okay so let us start Amazon uh, Web Services provides more than 200 services among those Amazon Elastic Compute Service which is ECS and Elastic Kubernetes Service which is EKS and AWS Fargate help deploy and manage containers okay and choosing between these all services can be very challenging to us and uh, it seems similar very similar sometimes but it offers each of them ECS, EKS or Fargate offers different benefits and they have some limitation. Okay. So let us uh, see that what are table of contents, what are we are we gonna see that in this uh, slide in this video. So first is compare ECS versus EKS versus Fargate. First day we will be comparing all these things. Second Amazon ECS versus EKS major differences. We will be discussing some differences among them. Third is Amazon EKS versus ECS versus AWS Fargate use cases. And fourth is Amazon ECS on Fargate or Amazon EKS on Fargate. Okay. So we'll see both on Fargate what, what it happens when we uh, use both on Fargate ECS and EKS both. Next is EKS on Fargate versus EC on, ECS on Fargate, what are the trade-offs? Okay, so these all things we are going to see. So first of all, what is Amazon EKS? Okay, so let's start. Amazon EKS, by uh, what the name suggests EKS, it is basically Elastic Kubernetes Services. And it is Amazon's fully managed Kubernetes as a service platform that enables us to deploy, run and manage Kubernetes applications. Okay. Containers and workloads in the AWS provides cloud or on premises. Like you can see, we can use EKS with Fargate and Fargate deploy serverless containers, Amazon EC2 deploy worker nodes for our EKS cluster. And then we can run Kubernetes app and then Amazon EKS dashboard will be shown in the AWS console. Okay. Uh, using EKS, you, we do not have to install, run or configure Kubernetes ourselves. What we have to do, we just have to set up and link worker nodes to Amazon EKS endpoints. And then AWS will handle all our Kubernetes control panel, admin tasks, including patching, upgrades, replacing unhealthy instances, security configurations and scaling our K8's containers across multiple AWS availability zone. Okay. Next is what is Amazon ECS? Okay. So Amazon ECS, ECS stands for Elastic Container Services and is Amazon's Docker based container scheduling and orchestration system that the AWS team built for from scratch. It is built from the scratch from the basics and you can say in this picture ECS is a fully managed container service that enables you to focus on improving code and service delivery instead of building that. Okay, we, we do not have to build, scale or maintain our own Kubernetes cluster management and infrastructure. It is already built. We just have to focus on improving our code and service, service delivery. Amazon ECS is often called Amazon's Docker as a service platform while Amazon ECS is anywhere is on the premises version. Okay. Amazon ECS defines containers in a task definition, which we use to run individual tasks or tasks which are within any of the services. And a services basically refers to a setup that we can use to execute a, a certain number of tasks in a cluster and parallelly simultaneously. <clears throat> Next, let us see what is AWS Fargate. So AWS Fargate is a fully managed serverless compute service. Okay. In exchange for giving it some level of control, Fargate automates the vast majority of container management tasks. It just automates that tasks. We can uh, just run all the tasks automatically. For example, 
it let you set resource parameter access control but it would not let you choose that which specific instance is the aws instance uh, instead of i can say uh, you have to choose okay or when and how to scale your ecs resource it won't allow you to do that aws fargate manages these two aspects on our behalf using its own algorithm fargate is a primarily a container as a service which can say caas solution it works as an operational mode in ecs and eks so as you have known that fargate works as an operational mode in ecs and eks next so next is how to compare ecs versus eks versus fargate how can we compare all these so first is to understand how ecs versus eks versus fargate differs let us consider how aws container services are organized so aws container are organized in a like aws registry services and it enables us to store and manage container images whatever the container uh, images are it enables us to store and manage that okay and ecr falls in this category amazon ecr ecr Uh, the full form of ecr is elastic container registry okay then comes aws orchestration service it manages that when and where our container will be running and the two services in this category are ecs and eks and for the third one aws compute services it power our containers okay it automates the containers aws provides two such services which is ec2 and fargate ec2 i i hope you must be knowing elastic compute cloud we have to make some instances on that and same fargate okay our workload runs on see now next this slide is amazon eks versus ecs versus fargate use cases so when we have to use amazon eks the better understanding of this is very necessary that when you will be using eks suppose when you have to choose eks or ecs or fargate then when you will be preferring eks amazon eks so this slide tells you that your workload runs on kubernetes but you want a managed kh service to simplify management okay your workload will be running but sometimes what happens you want a managed kh service kubernetes service to simplify that management controlling your tooling including integrating open source tools has benefits correct uh, next is you need more networking nodes on demand suppose if you need more networking nodes on demand so it will help you to do that also next is if you plan to migrate your containerized application to aws gcp suppose if you want to move it your container application to some extent like aws gcp azure or any other kates compatible service then you will be needed amazon aks and if you already have the time and expertise to deploy run and optimize containers on kubernetes then you will use amazon eks okay so this is when you use that next is when to use amazon ecs so most of our workload runs on the aws ecosystem and we want to run containers at scale with an opinionated aws solution and that is the time when we will be using amazon ecs <clears throat> next if you need deep integration if we need some deep integration with aws services if you want to integrate aws services if you want code pipelines ecr and and tools for monitoring and op optimizing costs so that uh, we uh, are not cost much we we must uh, keep it optimized keep it cost efficient and that time we use amazon ecs it is a very easy curve high performing accelerated development and all things you need right away and then you can use ecs suppose you have limited time and expertise to learn migrate and maintain your container workload in kubernetes then you can use and last is if you want to reduce container management cost include using ecs on ec2 spot instances or fargate spot instances then also you can do that okay 
Next comes when to use Amazon Fargate. When we have to use Amazon Fargate, then if your existing workload is running on serverless technologies or if you have to plan to do so in the future, then you can use Amazon Fargate. Okay, if you want to uh, run your workload on serverless technology, then you can use Amazon Fargate. If less server management strategy is re required or crucial to your productivity, cloud cost, then you can use uh, Amazon Fargate. Okay, uh, what Amazon Fargate does, it automatically adds new and pre-configured servers to your workload, to your uh, work and, and that uh, might automate your task. You only need container level permissions and customization for optimal performance and you don't need any other permissions for it. Using Docker or Kubernetes based containers is mostly irrelevant, irrelevant to you. And when running your own component is very important, then you can use Amazon Fargate there. Okay, so next is Amazon ECS on Fargate or Amazon EKS on Fargate. Let us see, EKS on Fargate simplifies running Kubernetes on AWS as we have already discussed it, that EKS on Fargate, it simplifies running Kubernetes on AWS and ECS on Fargate simplifies managing Docker containers. So basically one is one EKS which simplifies Kubernetes on AWS and ECS simplifies Docker containers. Okay, it simplifies the Docker container. Next is still manage, maintaining compute infrastructure requires the same amount of effort. And that is true. A notable difference here is ECS on Fargate uses spot instances, which are the most cost effective instance available on AWS. So ECS is getting better here because ECS on Fargate, it uses spot instance and it is most cost, cost effective and it is much budget or you can say pocket friendly. Something else, if we talk about something else, then EKS on Fargate. Now we have seen ECS on Fargate. Now if, if we compare it with EKS on Fargate, then EKS on Fargate is ideal for running a serverless app. If you want to run a serverless app that requires more than a single networking mode, AWS VPC suppose. So then you can use EKS. ECS on Fargate is very suitable for running ad hoc jobs with variable usage. Next is EKS on Fargate versus ECS on Fargate, what are the trade-offs? Okay, so first is limited features. It has some limited features. EKS or ECS on Fargate sacrifices some of your configurability and advanced features. Okay, what it does? So suppose you will not be able to configure some things and you will not be able to use advanced features while you are using AKS or ECS on Fargate. Next is it might be expensive sometimes to you to use EKS or ECS on Fargate and to managing your own compute, it might be, sometimes it might be uh, costly to you depending on your workload structure. Okay, so I hope this was okay to you and uh, let me uh, tell you something more about higher cost. So a common misconception is there, however is that Fargate is far more expensive than when EKS or ECS run or EC2 compute. So Fargate is much more expensive and this is increasingly untrue. But Fargate was initially more expensive than managing your own compute as Amazon has improved Fargate that has been changed now. Okay. And this says that organizations we talk to say they find it challenging to monitor and optimize cost in containerized infrastructure. Okay. So I hope now you can make some differences between EKS, ECS and Fargate. And this was all about these three container services. Uh, so I hope you have understood this video completely. And if you like this video, just hit the like button and share it to your friends. Let's meet in our next video. Till then, thank you.